Hello everybody and welcome back to the ARK video. And in this one I'm going to be going through every single boss in ARK. So, a few things you need to know before we start is that, or obviously this is not all the bosses, but there are different kinds of bosses that do different things. So the first one is the Guardians, which I have all four of the Guardians here. And they're kind of one of the bosses of the ARKs, but they're not like main bosses basically. And then there's overseers so there's two overseers and they basically control the arc and can just do whatever they want to it basically and then the last one is titans which i think you probably know what a titan is just a massive killer of doom that you can only find on earth so yeah so we're gonna be going through these and apparently this diplo has decided to attack my dragon so um now so we're gonna go through these. The first one that I have in this line is the Manticore, which is the guardian of Scorched Earth. So apparently there's only one on Scorched Earth, which is kind of interesting. Next is the Broodmother, which is another guardian, and it is the is a giant spider. So yes, next guardian is the Megapithecus or Gorilla. So yeah, and the last guardian is the Dragon, which is obviously the massive dragon on the island and yes okay so the next boss is going to be our first overseer so you can probably see is the overseer so obviously this boss is one of the hardest bosses in the game probably not the hardest one but one of the hardest so you can see got this cool spawn in the animation you come in here in order to get here you have to go through the tech cave which can be pretty difficult sometimes but this is the overseer so pretty cool the final boss of the island and yeah he is rockwell which is actually an overseer if you didn't know he is technically the overseer of aberration officially i guess so yeah it's pretty cool and aberration it's a different kind of fight he's in this pool can't move and you have to destroy his tentacles in, in order to fight him but yeah that is rockwell okay so these next three aren't are these next four are not technically bosses they are technically titans which is technically not a boss but i mean i'm just considering them bosses because that's basically what they are you can fight them the same way except for you don't but you know whatever so the first one is the Desert Titan. Remember, all are the three Desert Titan or the three Titans are tamed, tameable except for the last one. But yeah, so you got the Desert Titan, the one that only flies. Next is the Ice Titan, which is pretty cool. And yeah, also just so you know, you fight all of these in the main world. You don't actually go to an arena to fight them, so that's good to know. This next one is the Forest Titan. So yeah, that one's pretty cool. It's the tallest of them, of them all, and that's the three Titans you can tame in the last one is the king titan so this is the final boss of arc you know until they add a genesis but this was supposed to be the final boss and yeah it's really hard obviously because i mean just look at the size of it but yeah that is the all the titans the next boss is from genesis and it is modair or the underwater boss and that's the first underwater boss in arc which is which makes it pretty cool but yeah it's pretty big and yeah, it's just a mission, so you just go in there, do one of the missions, and then you get to fight this boss. But yeah. Okay, so this last boss is the... What is this? I forgot. Corrupted Master Controller. So this is the final boss on Genesis, and this is probably the hardest boss. I mean, in my opinion. If you're doing it solo, then yes, it is definitely the hardest boss. But it's also the most epic, because it's got the best arena. And just best fight overall but yeah that is every single boss in arc so i hope you've enjoyed if you did make sure to subscribe and bye